<laughs> All right, what's going on? Uh, this is John Diller, Gaming the System, the uh, number one official uh, Comics Gate fan artist. <laughs> uh, don't look into that title, I gave it to myself. But uh, today I wanted to work on something a little different. <clears throat> now, my uh, nephew wanted a, a picture. Uh, he wanted a picture of Cyborg from the DC Universe. And uh, we, you know, we, we cracked open my laptop and we were looking at pictures of Cyborg and he didn't recognize any of the pictures of Cyborg. Now I drew this just as a little illustration. Uh, this is the Cyborg that he knows. This is the Cyborg from the TV show Teen Titans Go. And uh, <clears throat> that's, to him, that's who Cyborg is. Now I understand that, uh, you know, kids nowadays, they, they like what they like. For instance, I grew up in the 90s, so if you were to ask me, you know, who are the famous superheroes? Spider-Man, you know, Wolverine, uh, Cyclops, Storm, Jean Grey, Superman, Batman, Ninja Turtles. But, you know, kids today, when you ask them, you know, to them, those heroes are cool and all, but I asked my nephew who his actual favorite superhero was. He said Beast Boy. I mean, that's, that's you know... People like what they like, and that's cool. But what blew my mind was that he 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 hadn't seen any other iteration of Cyborg, other than just the one from the Teen Titans Go. You know this one. So I told him I'd work on one for him, and because uh, he wants it, he just started school and he wants to put it in his folder, which you know. So let me start drawing. But um, that really blew my mind because. Uh, there was another kid that uh, wanted a picture for his folder. It was one of my wife's friends, and uh, she had a she had a young son, and he he was going to school, and he wanted a picture for his folder, and uh, he wanted uh, from the show called Naruto. He wanted a picture of Sasuke, who was like a a ninja or something like that. But uh, he he wanted a picture of Sasuke for his folder, and. Uh, I drew him this picture. It didn't even take me that long. It was just a nice, cool, um, you know, image of Sasuke. And he was, uh, it looked, I drew him kind of in my style. Very heavy shadows, dramatic, kind of realistic, but with a lot of uh, embellishments. And I finally, uh, you know, we went to a, uh, his birthday party. I think it was his eighth birthday party. And uh, we went to his, uh, his party and I was there, and I felt kind of dumb, you know. You know, when you draw, you know, well, what does he really want? He wants a, a picture for his folder. Okay, whatever, fine. Does he really want a picture for his folder? I don't know. But, uh, let me move this a little bit. i got to change his head. I don't like him looking this way. I want him looking, I want him looking down and menacing. There we go. I want him looking real bulky. Okay. So, this is my, uh, the gesture line for the head. But the thing that blew my mind was I gave it, I gave him the, his drawing before he opened his presence proper. Because I kind of felt, you know, it's the drawing. The kid's not going to like it that much. Not, it's not an actual present. It's not an actual toy. But, I showed him the drawing and his eyes got real big you know he's like oh and he went inside with the picture in his hand just ran inside and I was like okay whatever so the kid comes out a little later probably about a good mm, two minutes later he comes out and he has the picture in his hand and he has his backpack he starts opening up his backpack and he pulls out his folder and his folder is like a it's one of the folders you used to have in school you know it's a regular binder one inch, and the front had a clear plastic um, over it so that you could slide a picture in and out. And inside of his um, folder already, he had a picture of, and it fit perfectly too, and it, it was a picture of the almost the, the entire cast of Naruto. And it had, you know, the main characters. And, all, and then I didn't, I don't want, watch Naruto, but I had to look it up just to, but so, I, so I knew exactly what it was. And, uh, he had, and it was cool. It was like it was, uh, 
you know, it was glossy. It had all the cast of characters, and it had the, um, it had like an official, you know, Naruto, and it said, and it had the, the logo, and it was glossy, and it, it was an actual store bought, um, you know, a little picture that that's what he wanted on his, uh, on his folder. But I seen I seen him grab it, you know, open up the the thing, pull it out, wrinkle it up throw it on the floor, and put in the new picture. And that blew my mind. Because I remember when I was young, and I had pictures in my folder when I was young, I think the pictures I had in my folder were like either something I would draw myself or uh, Dragon Ball Z or something. And I, I wanted something official, you know. But he this was just a regular, you know, hand-drawn thing that I did, and you know, with inks and a little bit of watercolor. And he loved it. And he, the thing was, I mean... Kids like things that are drawn well. They do. I mean, it, it. I understand that you have to dumb things down for a TV show to make things happen faster, production and all that stuff. But kids, it blew my mind because I, I in my in my head I was thinking, oh, you know, this is not. Oh man, he has something actually official from Naruto in his folder. But he didn't care. He, I mean, he saw this picture of his favorite character, which was Sasuke. And he just fucking ripped it out and threw it away and just immediately slapped it in. And I thought that was really cool. But, uh, and he made me feel a little good too. And, and I was watching him and he was opening his presents and stuff. And I started realizing, like, as he was opening his presents, he started, he got like a couple of Nerf guns, which I personally think Nerf guns are pretty cool. But he got a Nerf gun, some other stuff, some pajama costume stuff. And I was, I was looking at this crap and I was like, now, I watched this other YouTuber uh, by the name of A-V-E, like a capital A, small V, capital E. And he always has this saying, which is, uh, he's like an engineer and he takes apart tools and stuff. And he says, you can't really buy anything cool anymore. If you want something cool, you got to make it yourself or you got to pay somebody a ton of money to make it. And I was like, you know, it, and unfortunately, that's true. It, it is true. I mean... There's a lot of crap that they have for sale that you can go and buy for a kid's birthday party real fast. And it's it's hot trash. It's garbage. And... This is vain at. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, if you want something really cool, you need to make it yourself. Because the things that the businesses are forcing out these days, and, I mean, they're doing it, which is kind of indicative of the... Uh, Teen Titans Go, but it's it's boiled down to the point where it's just recognizable enough to be passable, and that's it. Because if it's you know if it takes too long to do, they're just gonna scrap it. Not to say that there ain't good programming out there right now, because there is some stuff out there that I really like, like the Misadventures of Flapjack, uh, the cartoon Adventure Time. I thought it was crazy inventive. I mean, usually when something is really creative, it gives me nightmares. <laughs> to the point where, you know, I'll wake up and be like, what the hell am I thinking about? Oh, yeah, it's that show I watched. And not necessarily because it was scary. It was just so creative or inventive that it would, you know, it startles you. It, it, it gets your mind churning at night. So, <clears throat> I was like, crap, that's that's pretty dope. But the thing is, they, 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 they crave these things that are really cool. They crave quality and again I do understand that things need to be boiled down but it's getting to the point where it's pretty ridiculous you know and the reason I brought that guy AVE um, I don't know his real name but he's an engineer and he'll take apart tools you know power drills and stuff like that and he will show you just actually show you how these tools are designed to fail almost immediately after the warranty expires. Now you can see things in there that are just put together so chintzily, then he'll do a test, you know, how many times can I pull the trigger on this drill before it breaks? And the average, you know, homeowner game, or the, you know, DeWalt tools, you know, they call it prosumer uh, tools, I mean, almost like clockwork. The average person will use a drill, you know, once or twice a week, average that over two years, which is about when the warranty goes, and then that's it. The thing just busts. 
And the main reason I like these, uh, and the main reason, and the main thing I'm, I'm trying to work on with my comic book, my own self, and then this isn't my comic book, this is just, you know, something that's not very important, but at the same time, very important. You know, I want to try to do stories that are really well thought out. Stories that, you, that are written, rewritten, looked at, given to people to think about, take the feedback, go back to the drawing board and rewrite it again. I want to be involved in a story that's really cared about. And uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm striving for with my personal comic that I'm working on right now. And I did just finish a comic book. I, uh, I teamed up with this guy I found on Facebook, and we started doing a book uh, called Black Emerald. That is finished. That is, uh, I sent that to him to do the editing. It's all going to be black and white. Because, uh, you know, this is my first stuff. So, you know, we're small time. So it's all going to be black and white. And we're probably going to end up putting it on Comixology. But uh, I did try. I'm, be I'm better now than when I started. I'm, I'm, I'm very new to drawing uh, sequential art. But uh, I did try very hard. And I think it's going to come out really well. So I will talk to you guys later. The video is getting longer. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up the video, whatever. And if you have any questions about any of this, uh, give me a message in the chat. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.